I want you to imagine for a moment you are working with a very long document, maybe dozen of pages, and you know somewhere in that document it's a reference to a specific topic or person, and you want to get there quickly. Well, you could scroll the document, scrolling from one page to page until you arrive at the location you are looking for, or you could do it very quickly and easily, letting Word take care of it for you. In fact, if you wanted to find something or replace it with something else. Word can do that too. We are going to explore find and replace functionality in this movie. Let's say we know for fact somewhere in this document is a reference to one of main fact abbreviation, and we want to locate it. And we don't want to scroll from one page to next, scrolling every page until we find that we are looking for. Let's have Word to do it for us with with the home tab selected on the ribbon. Move all the way to the right. You will see in the editing group, right at the top, a find button. Move over that. You will see the keyboard shortcut is Control F. Either way, we are going to open navigate the pane on the left hand left hand side. Go ahead, click the that button. So it opens up here with search field, a cursor flashing, waiting for us to type in what we are looking for. Well. We know it's abbreviations. I think it's short forms. Well, all we need to do is start typing the abbreviation. You can see, all of a sudden there is a couple of results. There's a down a little bit further. It's also highlighted in the document. So we didn't even need to type in the full word to locate the abbreviation. There is it is. So we click the document and continue working in that area. We got there quickly. Not even sure what page we are on. Unless we check out status bar in the document left corner, it's only the second page. Let's say we know there's something in that that needs to be changed. As we scroll through this document, scrolling up, we see this CV, and it appears multiple times in this document. It would be better if we were to replace this CV with resume, but not if we are. You can see this would be instant where we would want to. Well, in this case, we. Going to use find and replace. So we close up the navigation pane by clicking the close button here. Back to working on the on our document, and we will go up to the editing group on the ribbon. This time we will go to replace, and look what happens. It opens up its own, its own dialog here with the replace tab selected. You can see what we search for the last tabulations, but we can type right over that. And we are going to type it in all our our, our case CV. That's the way it appears in the document. And we know that needs to replace with. And we will use capital CV. Now you can see the options down below. Repl replace will do one at a time. Replace all will be replace them to all throughout the document. That may not make sense. So instead, we can go from one. To the next, using Find Next button, go ahead and click Find Next. Now, you may need to move this out of the way, but it's highlighted here inside the brackets. We don't want to replace that one, so we actually just click Find Next or Next one in action to create CV. Yes, we do want to replace that. Clicking Replace, you can see it replaces it, and check out what's happening in the background. All upper cases. So this is exactly what we want. So let's close this up. Let's go up to here in the quick access tool by click and do control Z and the keyboard shortcut for that. It goes back to CV. There are additional options you will need to consider when doing the find and replace. So let's go back to replace. There CV. You can see it's a replace with resume. And but where do we get to? Whether or not we are going to match case or use the same case, click more. From here, we will notice the match. The match case is a checkbox is not selected. In other words, we are not matching the case of what we have typed in here in the replace with field. It's automatically using the same case in the find what field. So we do want to match the case that we have typed in there is replace with field. Now we can click replace and you can see selected. The right one. It appears to be where it should, with just a capital R in the resume. Same thing for the next one. That's highlighted, and you can see search is going down our document. That's why I skip over the first one. 
it's went from one hour poster here down it will wrap around the back up to the top so keep the that mind click replace and you can see that it's reached reach the end do you want to control search it from the beginning and when you click yes you can see it's a cv in brackets that should be not be replaced so in this case all we want to do is click close now we have used final replace to save a lot of time and lot of efforts locating content and even replacing that content with other things